Have you ever wondered about the relationship between GDU accumulation and corn development? Utilizing the estimated number of days to reach a certain growth stage can help you predict when important growth stages will occur. Normally, corn requires approximately 100 to 120 GDUs to emerge, which under favorable conditions can be four to five days after planting. Delayed emergence may be a result of leafing out as a result of soil crusting or extremely cold soil temperatures. The V2 stage occurs when two leaves are fully emerged with collars visible. The V2 stage occurs typically seven to 10 days after emergence or around 200 GDUs. The V3 stage marks the end of the seed being the main food source and the beginning of the photosynthetic process. During the V4 to V6 stages, the uppermost ear and tassel is initiated and kernel row numbers are determined. The growing point of the corn plant is near the surface. The V6 stage occurs at approximately 475 GDUs. The V7 to V9 stages begin the rapid growth phase. If the corn plant is stressed, lower leaves may die. At approximately 610 GDUs, eight leaves will have formed. During the V10 to V17 growth stages, any management practice that helps reduce plant stress and allows for adequate nutrient levels can help maximize yield potential. Tassels normally appear two to three days before silk emergence. Pollen shed typically occurs in the morning or evening. Moisture and heat stress during pollination may cause degradation yield reduction, which can result in barren tips or loss of entire ears. Grain fill is the last set of stages of the corn growth cycle. While the number of kernels has already been determined in earlier stages, the size of the kernels is set during grain fill stages. Talk to your local DeKalb Asgrow DSM or TA to learn more about corn growth stages, or visit aganytime.com for more information.